Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. The Canon M50 is on its way here. I've got confirmation. I'm excited. We've got the 1122, is it? The wide angle M series lens coming in with it. We've got the uh, 518 STM with the EOS M adapter coming in with it. And I've got the M50 coming in a kit arrangement with the two lenses. So that's the uh, 15 to 45, I think it is, and the 55 to 200. So that should be a great setup of lenses. Um, actually, really interested. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to play with the M50 period, but interested to try the EOS M adapter and see how a, uh, a non-M series lens works with the adapter, which is why I ordered the Nifty 50, one of my favorite lenses and one of the lenses I always recommend to you guys if you're expanding above and beyond your kit lenses. The 50 F1.8 is the way to go on uh, whether you're Canon, Nikon, whatever you're shooting. Uh, so anyways, it's coming in. The 50 is coming in, the M50, uh, and begs the question. I've been getting some questions about the 90D. Uh, when is the 90D coming? Should I wait for the 90D? Should I buy an M50? And uh, it got me thinking that I think what we're seeing with the M50 is a lot of the tech that we're going to see in the 90D. I've been asking, basically, I, I've said before that a 90D that's basically a refined 80D with 4K with a few other little improvements, would be a great 90D because the 80D is a very mature, very good camera in and of itself. So I think what we can expect to see is some of the improvements, some of the more advanced tech in the M50 that the 80D doesn't have, and we just talked about that in a video, uh, coming into the 90D, and that'll essentially be what a 90D is going to be. Let's take a quick look here and just recap what we actually have in the 80D. So with the ADD, we have a DSLR. It's got 45 all cross type AF points. So 45 points for AF system, all cross type. Um, and we've got better than that in the uh, the M50, but that's what the ADD has. And it's a very competent autofocus system, especially when you add in the fact that the ADD also has uh, dual pixel AF. And uh, you know when the when the ADD was out, their listing here says it's an improved dual pixel AF, and it was improved over the 70D for sure, and some of the earlier versions of it. We've got the 24 megapixel sensor, which is basically the same sensor that the M50 has inherited. Um, you know the current Canon APS-C 24 megapixel sensor. That's a very good sensor. We've got built-in Wi-Fi. We've got built-in NFC. We've got full 60p HD. Uh, which is good, but I wish you know I wish the 80D had had 4K, and that's what we're hoping to get in the 90D. We've got that beautiful three-inch very angle touchscreen LCD. They call it the LCD2 monitor. We've got Digic 6 image processor, so we'll see. Definitely expect to see an upgrade on that. Uh, we've got an ISO performance of 100 to 16,000, expandable to 25,006 um, with the boost, and uh, I think we'll see an increase in that. But the current—that's what the current ADD has, and um, we've got uh, high-speed continuous shooting up to seven frames per second. We've got. Um, Shutter tested at 100,000 cycles. And that's basically, in a nutshell, our ADD. That's the camera that we've come to know and love as the ADD. I've tested it. I've shot with it. I've reviewed it. Uh, it's a very popular camera. A lot of YouTubers use it. Um, Casey Neistat's used it. Um, and it's it was a great successor to the 70D. So the question is then, what are we going to get in the 90D? What can um, make the ADD proud? How can we continue this tradition of an, an improved, solid DSLR? What are we going to see in it? Well, I think what we're going to see is essentially what I've been asking for, and that is essentially a lot of the specs are going to remain the same, but we're going to see some of the improvements, including 4K, from the M50 in what will then be a new uh, 90D, the successor to the 80D. gone through and basically collated all of the specs that we can accept to, expect to see coming from the 50D that will show up in the 90D. In other words, stuff we're going to get in the 90D that is came out or is currently in the M50. So uh, first and foremost, we're uh, focus peaking, probably not going to get it. It's not impossible to put in a DSLR, but we probably won't so as I mentioned, first and foremost, it's probably going to have, it will have 4K. We're going to see 4K 
and it's either going to be the same style of 4K, you know, with that 2.5, 2.56 times crop that the M50 has uh, and its limitations, um, or perhaps because the 90D is a higher level body, it's probably going to be priced higher than the M50 at its 899 kit price. The 90D is likely to come back to what the 80D was at, which is, I think it might have even, it was at least 1199 It might have been closer to 1400 on release with a kit lens. Um, but we may get a better 4K than the M50. We'll get at least the uh, Canon M50's 4K, but perhaps a better one, maybe a little less crop, um, and maybe the ability to use dual pixel AF. That is something that Canon has kind of signaled that it's not that they can't do it while we don't have it on the M50. They just weren't going to give away the farm at a lower price point. So they were stripping features on the M50, but offering it at a lower price. Perhaps with the 90D being anticipated at a higher price level, maybe that'll be our first APS-C 4K camera from Canon that also has dual pixel AF, which would be fantastic and a huge benefit over the M50. So that might draw people to the 90D at the higher price point. The other thing we're going to see, built-in Bluetooth. The M50 has it. I think it's a no-brainer that we're going to see that on the new 90D. Slow motion video, we have that in the M50, and I would expect we will see that in the 90D, maybe in an even better offering for what resolution we can use it at. Maybe we'll be able to shoot at a full 1080 or even 4K, and that, again, may be something that pushes um, users to consider the 90D at a higher price point over what the M50 has to offer. So yeah, slow-mo video, that should be available. I, I would expect to see that in the 90D. Higher extended ISO, I think that's a no-brainer. I think the M50 is just a more developed, more mature sensor of that really nice Canon 24 megapixel APS-C sensor. And so they've been able to, with tech moving forward and a higher, higher digit processor, we're going to see that higher digit processor, which is another point, in the 90D, and we are going to, in turn, because of that better processor, that more more computer power, we're going to get uh, that same extended ISO range that is in the M50 in the new 90D. And then the last point, as I just touched on, is the processor. 80D is currently a Digic 6, which was a great processor for the camera, and the 80D worked well. Moving into 4K, which is what I expect, and I think we were pretty much guaranteed to see in the 90D, this, at least the same level of 4K that's in the M50. We're also going to have the same processor, Digic 8. Maybe even a more powerful version of it. Maybe we'll see like a Digic 8 version 2 or something. Because if we get a little bit of better version of 4K, if we have, in other words, better 4K offerings in the 90D, maybe less crop, maybe a more advanced codec, and... Also, if we have dual pixel AF working in there, then maybe it needs a higher level processor than the Digic 8 version that is in the M50. Maybe they won't bother differentiating. Maybe they'll just call it Digic 8 as well, even though it's a more powerful version of the Digic 8. But you can expect to see the Digic 8 processor in the Canon 90D. So those are some of the things that we should expect to see in the 90D coming over from the M50. Things that the M50 has that we are bound to see just flow over into the 90D as this newer tech, and the 90D will be a much newer camera than the 80D. It's been a while since we've had a refresh. So is that enough to make you consider the 90D at what will almost surely be the standard 90D price point in the sense that, you know, the 80D, the 70D, whatnot, it's always come in at a certain price point? As a matter of fact, that has me curious to remember exactly what the price point was. And when I look, the price point was... 1199 body only, 1799 with the 18 to 135 lens. So obviously it's dropped in what it costs now, but I mean 1199 body only uh, is a big difference from the 899 M50 with kit lens. Now that was announced, and those were the prices when it was announced, February 18th, 2016. So we're already two years ago, over two years ago. So I think we can expect to see it at a similar price point than 90D. I would expect Canon to release it at that price point. I would expect it to have all of these things that we've just gone through from the M50 would appear in the 90D as well as some other features that we haven't yet discussed that I'm going to bring up in another video that I'm pretty sure the 90D is going to have that aren't in the M50. And that's going to be additional things that will drive those of us that are looking for a higher level camera or these additional features uh, to that higher price point. What do you guys think? Is the, are these, these features from the M50, are these enough to make you buy a 90D? Does it have to have more? 
are you still interested in a DSLR? Would the 90D appeal to you? Or is the M50, with being a mirrorless camera, uh, would you would you be happy to go to it? Have you been, as I've said in the past, just waiting for an 80D with 4K? And as long as that's in it, the 90D is what you're going to do. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys have to say about this. Curious to see what you're thinking as far as now that the M50's out and the tech that's coming from the M50 into the 90D, are you waiting for the 90D? Or are, is, was the M50 everything you've wanted? Is there something else that I haven't mentioned that needs to be in the 90D for you to buy it over the M50? Again, let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. It's got me curious. I'm very excited about getting the M50 in, but I'm also curious to see what the 90D is going to be and what you guys think, what the demand, what the desire for the 90D is, what it'll need to have to be a good selling camera. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.